Ladies and gentlemen, it is finally that time of the year, the end of the MLB regular season. This is Brewers games 155 through 162, the final stretch before the playoffs. Game 2 versus the Diamondbacks will start off with a Jack Peterson two-run home run, his 23rd home run of the year, making it 2 to nothing. Jose Herrera would hit home run number 1 of the year, making it 3 nothing. And lastly, Cattell Marte's 34th home run of the year, a two-run home run, would make it 5 to nothing. Game 3 versus the Diamondbacks, the Brewers win 10 to 9, Jared Koenig with the win, Justin Martinez with the loss, and Devin Williams with the save. Cattell Marte would start off the scoring on a solo home run, his 35th home run of the year, making it 1 nothing. An RBI triple by Geraldo Perdomo would make it 2 nothing. Lourdes Gurriel Jr. would hit an RBI ground hole, making it 3 nothing. Jake McCarthy would make it 5 to nothing on a 2 RBI single scoring in Cattell Marte and Jock Peterson. Josh Bell's 19th home run of the year, a 2 run home run, would make it 7 0. Yohenio Suarez would hit home run number 29 in a solo home run, making it 8 0. Blake Perkins would put up the first run for the Brewers, an RBI single, making it 8 1. Self Freelick would hit an RBI double, making it 8 2, still Diamondbacks. Joey Ortiz would hit an RBI sacrifice fly, scoring in Gary Sanchez, making it 8 3. Jackson Churio would hit an RBI single, scoring in Joey Ortiz and making it 8-4. Reese Hoskins would hit an RBI double, making it 8-5. Willie Adams would hit a ground rule double out to right center field, scoring in Reese Hoskins, making it 8-6. Randall Gritchick would hit an RBI single, making it 9-6. Garrett Mitchell hit an RBI single, making it 9-7. Reese Hoskins would tie up the game on a two-RBI single, making it 9-9. Jake Bowers would hit an RBI single, making it 10-9. Game 1 versus the Pirates, the Brewers will win 7-2, Hobie Milner with the win, Bailey Falter with the loss. Sal Freelick would lead off the scoring on an RBI double, making it 1-0. Joey Ortiz would hit a 2 RBI single, making it 3-0. Jared Triolo would hit an RBI single, making it 3-1, still Brewers. A Nick York sack fly would make it 3-2. An RBI fielder's choice by Joey Ortiz would make it 4-2. A bases loaded walk to Willie Adamos would make it 5-2. Another bases low to walk, this time to Reese Hoskins, would make it 6-2. And then Sal Freelick would make a sad fly, making it 7-2. Game 2 versus the Pirates. The Pirates will win 2-1. Luis El Ortiz with the win. Freddy Peralta with the loss. Aroldis Chapman with the save. Jake the Rake Bowers would hit a solo home run, his 12th home run of the year, making it 1-0. And then Leover Piguero would hit a 2-RBI double. That's simple. Game 3 versus the Pirates, the Brewers will win 5-2, Aaron Savale with the win, Mitch Keller with the loss, Devin Williams with the save. Bryce Durang will start off the scoring on an RBI ground hole, making it 1-0. Eric Haas will hit an RBI double, making it 2-0. Bryce Durang will hit an RBI single, making it 3-0. Blake Perkins will hit an RBI double, making it 4 nothing. How much higher is this going to get? Joey Ortiz will make it 5-0 on an RBI double. And in the bottom of the 7th, Brian De La Cruz will hit a 2-run home run, his 21st home run of the year, making it 5-2. Game 1 versus the Mets, the final series of the MLB season. The Brewers will win 8-4, Joe Ross with the win, Sean Manaya with the loss, Trevor McGill with the save. Breeze Hoskins will start off the scoring with a light grand slam, his 26th home run of the year, making it 4 nothing. Blake Perkins will make it 5-0 on an RBI double. Mark Vientos will make it 5-2 on a two-run home run, his 27th home run of the year, making it 5-2. A challenge call by the Mets would have a Jackson Churio RBI single, making it 6-2. A wild pitch walk to Garrett Mitchell would make it 7-2. Harrison Bader would make it 7-3 on a sack fly. J.D. Martinez would make it 7-4 on a field error by Bryce Durang. And lastly, Gary Sanchez would hit a solo home run, his 11th home run of the year, making it 8-4. Game 2 versus the Mets, the Brewers win 6-0, Tobias Myers with the win, Jose Quintana with the loss. Joey Ortiz will start off the scoring on a 2-RBI single, making it 2-0. Willie Adams will make it 3-0 on an RBI single. A bases loaded walk to Joey Ortiz will make it 4-0. And lastly, Andre Monasterio will hit a 2-RBI single, making it 6-0. And lastly, Game 162, Mets versus Brewers, the Mets would sadly win 5-0. David Peterson with the win, Colin Ray with the loss. Brandon Nimmo would start off the scoring on an RBI single, making it 1 nothing. Francisco Alvarez would hit an RBI single, making it 2 nothing. Francisco Lindor would make it 3 nothing on an RBI single. Francisco Alvarez would come up again and hit a sack fly, making it 4 nothing. In the final run of the year for a Brewers game, a Francisco Lindor solo home run, making it 5 to nothing, his 32nd home run of the year. What a great season the Brewers had. The Brewers had some ups, many ups, 
And not that many downs, but of course, they did have some loose streaks. They did lose 15 to, what, two ones to the Yankees. I don't want to care about that. Brewers had a great season. Great offensive production by, like, 80% of their hitters. The Brewers would end the season 93-69. and 69. Do not stay away from the Brewers' respective channel. There will be more videos this week. Starting tomorrow is Game 1 of the playoffs versus the Mets again at 4.32 Central Time on ESPN and potentially ABC. I will be recapping that series either Thursday or Friday, depending how many games in the series will be played, up to three for sure. And then we'll see if they make it past that, and I'll be keep recapping the entire playoffs until they get to a certain point. And I will be doing some off-season videos like Top 30 Prospects After Season, some shorts about some transactions that happened, and all of that kind of stuff. So if you like what you see, hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll see you in the playoffs. Go Broku, baby! Ooh, ooh, ooh!